Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to what I've been playing, what I've been watching, and what I've been reading. Uh, I'm playing around with the lighting in my uh, my dojo, my studio, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So obviously I live in the UK, so summer has officially ended. So my lighting situation, uh, some of my videos I watched and it's just getting, the sun goes down so quick. So I'm experimenting with lighting. I'm there again, teaching myself little things as I go. But you can see my tripod, yeah. So I'm in the dark, in the shadows, can't see me. I'm here, no you can't. I'm here, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Um, that's what I know. Um, so yeah, so apologies if this video looks different, if it looks a little bit fucking weird. Um, yeah, I'll do my best. Oh yeah, look at that fucking shadow. Hey, baby. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, right then, so I have, what have I been playing? I know you're all dying to find out. Uh, I've only, I haven't had much on the game front this week. I uh, didn't play much yesterday. I did three videos for my uh, Run the World with 80 fighting games. Uh, so the first game I played was Virtua Fighter 4. Uh, this is Evolution. I'm going to be careful now with the light in. Look at that. Yeah, baby, look at that. This is the light game. Yeah, it's fight a little dead, see? Like I'm a pro. Yeah, so this is like the special edition, if you like. And I haven't played... I, I, funny enough with this, this is one of those... I own two versions of Virtua Fighter 4 and this. So Virtua Fighter 4, I kept my original copy from back in the day. I know it's something I say all the time. Back in the day, I'll say it again. <laughs> um, but then it was put away into storage, forgotten about. So I, I, I must have kept it because it was a good game. I didn't trade it in, you know. So uh, when I got back into retro game collecting, I said, like, oh, Virtua Fighter 4. It's not an expensive game. It's something like two quid. So I picked up another copy, and I didn't know there was uh, the Evolution version. So, But I can't remember. It's been so long since I played the, the vanilla version. I don't know what they've actually done different on this version. But I had a bit of a scare when I put it in. The disc is mint, okay? There's not a mark on the disc, okay? So I put it in. Again, that PlayStation, it didn't load. And it says, oh, error with the disc. I was like, oh, I don't know. So I took it out, give it the old wipe with the t-shirt, and it worked. And it will feature on the channel. I did all right on it, which means I didn't finish it. But I think I got past round three. But um, the pace of the game, it's a lot slower than what, I'm, uh, what, I, what I really enjoy, you know. Right, talking of games I really enjoyed. Yes, I'm chuffed with this. This is Spectral vs. Generation. Very strange name for a game, I know. But um, it's excellent. I played this, so I got my first impressions is... Um, I'm not sure what episode it'll be. I got my diary here. So this would have been... Keep an eye out for... Episode 74, if you want to see this. My first thoughts and impressions on this game. It's, it's excellent. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't think I finished it. Again, it's my first time playing it. If I was to compare it to anything that's uh, more well-known, I would say Darkstalkers. It seriously gave me Darkstalkers vibes. A lot of the controls are very similar to Capcom, like Half Circle, Punch, and stuff like that for the projectiles and fireballs and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, very good game. It's currently £5 in CEX. It's worth every single penny. I can't recommend this game enough. Uh... I think I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. Maybe a 9 out of 10, you know. It's, it's one of those games I'm going to get back into. I'm going to look forward to playing. Once i finish finished Around the World of 80 Fighting Games, which I filmed now after episode 75 of 80. So I've only got five more games to play. Uh, two of them I definitely know what I'm going to play. I'll give you a spoiler. I'm going to play Tekken 7 and Capcom vs. SNK 2. That'll probably be my final one. I was thinking of doing a live one at the end, but I thought, no, I'll stick to my original format. Um, but I've still got three games I'm not sure. I might play Street Fighter Alpha 2, uh, Street Fighter 2, maybe, maybe. I've got another Call of, uh, Call, King of Fighters game I definitely want to play. Um, Neo Wave, I think. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, getting back to this game. Very good game. Uh, never heard of it. This is definitely... 
There isn't a better phrase. I know it's uh, it's used a lot. This is a hidden gem. 100% hidden gem. Uh, before I spoke about it, I could I thought I'd watched a YouTube video on it. This is a complete blind buy. I was on CEX checking the games that they had in stock in Carmarthen before I went there yesterday. And underneath then comes up like games you might also be interested in or whatever it's called. And this just, the cover, something about that cover spoke to me. I thought it looks like a fighting game. I'm always on the lookout for a new fighting game, especially on the PS2, because this is considered one of the golden eras of the fighting games, in my opinion. Um, yeah, chuffed a bit. So I looked at it and I ordered it through it. And I did a, because I've never heard of it, I then went on YouTube and typed it in and there wasn't many reviews. And the first review was, he goes, he was right, Darkstalkers. A little bit of Guilty Gear vibe. Maybe that's some of the character designs look like they've fresh out to the Guilty Gear universe, you know. But yeah, definitely recommend that game, guys. Go pick it up. Spectral vs. Generation, baby. Tell them Tony sent you. Uh, the other game I did was King of Fighters Maximum Impact 2. Uh, really enjoyed it. This is like the 3D version of the King of Fighters games. I'd like to see them continue it. Give me Tekken vibes, if I'm honest. So that's a compliment. I really did enjoy it. This one, the cutscenes... The reason I don't play it much, right, or haven't played it much, it's another one I'm going to get back into. Uh, the reason I haven't played it is none of my mains are in it. Okay, Leona is closest to my mains. She's very good fun in King of Fighters 15. There's no Whip. There's no Vanessa. There's no um, King, which is, if anyone knows me, King's my, my girl, you know, my easily my main in the King of Fighters universe. So I don't tend to play it much. Um, I won't tell you who I went as. I didn't go as Leona, though. So, ooh, who did he go as? You'll have to wait. And that was on episode 73 of Around the World 80 Fighting Games. So you got over a week to wait. I know, it's exciting. So, um, yeah, I did well on that. And I really enjoyed the cutscenes. I, I'm very guilty. It's, it's more about showing off. The series I do Around the World 80 Fighting Games is more about showing off the gameplay and hopefully inspire, say, oh, I like the look of that. Or I don't like the look of that. I stay away from that game. Or, you know, I'm just giving my general seven minute plus video. Some videos are half away, you know. But the, I think the favourite thing of this game, still, after playing it, is the opening cutscene. Uh, so I just let that roll. It came on while I was doing my usual recap, which is going longer. And longer. Every video I do is getting longer and longer, isn't it? So I left the, I was enjoying it, so I let it roll. But then the end scene and stuff was really good as well. So yeah, definitely recommend that. I thoroughly enjoyed that, you know. And I'm still playing The Division 2. If you didn't know, I spoke about this last week. Um, I paid £2 for it. I've miles more than had my money's worth on this game, okay. But um played it last night. I don't know... I, I put so many hours into it. I've got something like eight main missions to go or six main missions, something like that. My character is level 30, so I am I can go anywhere in the map now. So some of them were like recommended level 30. You know, basically, like you'll die if you go anywhere near these uh, enemies. So I'm powerful enough now. Um, I'm going to experiment with the drone. Uh, I use the, the turret gun a lot, but I think... You can use the... I thought it was like, you can either have the drone or the turret gun, but uh, uh, a guy was... Another player was playing with me the other night online, and he had both on the go. So I was like, ah, right, okay, I'll have a go at that. But last night I was like, I'm not saying it's a chore to play, but I'm getting... Maybe I'm ready for something else. It thoroughly hooked me the first couple of however long I've been playing it. Two weeks solid. Uh, I've even stopped playing Final Fantasy VII because of this game. But I'm kind of, I'm not saying I'm over it, but I just want to get the main story done. I'm probably not going to do everything, like platinum it. I'm going to win nowhere near platinum this game, you know. Um, I need to look what trophies are on it. But uh, yeah, I'm interested in the story, but I'm kind of, in the next two or three weeks, what I might do is start another RPG, we'll get back into Final Fantasy VII, 
and just dip in and out of both. One night to play that game, one night to play this game, or something like that, you know. But if I really focus on it, I reckon I can finish that in the next week, you know. So I'll give you an update on that. I really hope I don't stop playing it, though. Because it, it's I owe it that much to uh, see it through. So that's what I've been playing, okay. Uh, what I've been watching, I've watched one movie. Uh, but on Netflix, I finished Cobra Kai. Really enjoyed it. I think last week I was like on episode... I think it's eight or ten episodes but the first four were very not boring i would have stopped watching if it was boring it was like a bit like oh really i felt like they were running out of ideas but then it just comes at you it all comes together then i thought nah this is probably going to be the last season but it ends on a cliffhanger don't worry i'm not going to do spoilers i kind of had a feeling but then when i look back a bit i'll be honest I didn't expect that, that the, the, the cliffhanger. So uh, the ne- there is going to be a season six, looks like. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, really, really good fun. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. I watched the latest episodes. I'm up to date now on She-Hulk. Whatever. I'm enjoying it. I'm not saying it's the best thing ever. Best thing out there. It's just, this is probably the weakest episode. I think it's episode five or episode six. Um, if I get well, if I if I watch it again, I'll probably skip that episode. Yeah, it was the biggest episode. It was a nothing episode. She goes to she's a bridesmaid in a wedding of someone she grew up with. You can't really say no when you get invited to a wedding, you know. So I think she says that line as well because she's like, "Why are you going?" She doesn't like the person. The person doesn't like her. Um, so she goes as she Hulk, and then she kind of the bride says, "Oh, I don't want you or crying. Oh, I didn't want you to be she Hulk." So she tries her best not to be she Hulk. Um, then that other, that ta, the other superhero woman that had a lawsuit against her, she turns up. So of course she's much more powerful, and she's pissed as fuck because she's my metabolism's uh, normal, isn't it? So she's just getting wasted. Because it's like, gosh, oh, this is shit. I'm just getting wasted. And a woman starts in her. And then she sobers up like that then. She turns into She-Hulk. Um, it's a bit of a silly episode. But I, I did enjoy it, you know. Um, again, I'm, I'm just enjoying it for what it is, you know. It's, it's not groundbreaking. But, uh, yeah, everybody seems to be hating on it. So I'm sticking up for it. Give it a chance, you know. Uh, I've watched a movie. I watched The Thing. Uh, I watched, this is the, this has got two on there, so it's got the 1982 and the 2001 version, so some people say, oh, what, it's not the original, the original was from fucking years ago, these are the John Carpenter, the 1982 is the John Carpenter one, but do your research, that was a fucking remake, um, but it's a masterpiece, I think, I can't remember why I wanted to watch this, I think I saw some artwork or something, I thought, oh, that reminds me of the thing, uh, it's a fucking brilliant film, it really does hold up. I think the effects, more effort gone into the effects than the 82 one compared to the 2011 one. Um, you can't really compare them. Visually, the story, uh, it's a masterpiece, the 1982 one. I'm also, I've nearly finished uh, watching Berserk. I'm down to the final disc. I, some reason, very naively, when you've got like five or six discs or whatever it is, I thought this was the whole series was going to be on here. Really naively, I thought, okay, it's following the books. Very scene by scene almost. It's like, oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember, oh, yeah, great, great, great. But where I am now, so uh, Griffith is, you know, he got captured. Again, spoilers, but if you haven't seen it, you've got no idea what I'm talking about. So Griffith, you break him free. But they've cut all his tendons, so he's just like limp kind of thing. But he hates guts now, doesn't he? Because he blames guts for everything that went wrong. So I've actually read miles past that. But the uh, the books that I've got there, I've got volumes 1 to 6. I thought this would have been like, I think we're on volume 10 or 11 or maybe 12. I thought this would have told the whole story. So that's why I waited so long to, to pick this up. But it looks like it's a season or something so i'm pretty confident i'm at least a book ahead of like 700 pages ahead of where i think this is going to end um 
but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Once I've caught up on my reading, I'm going to talk about my reading in a sec. I'm really looking forward to getting back into uh, smashing the Berserk books. The thing is, because they're so big and heavy, the hardback books, they're 700 plus pages long each. It's on good quality paper. Basically, they weigh a ton. It's too heavy for me to lie down with the book on my lap, you know. So, I will put it... It'll be in my bed. That's when I do most of my reading. I've got a book, which I'll talk about in a bit. I've always got a book at work, like a workbook. So I read on my lunch breaks, but like sometimes I won't read all week or I'll read a couple of pages here, a couple of pages there. I'm not going to take those books, the Berserk books, into work. I won't leave them there. They're too valuable, you know, and I'm not putting on my backpack on my motorbike. It'll fucking weigh me down, like, you know, when you've got a small engine on my motorbike. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for, I, probably might, I think I've got three episodes left, so... That might actually, I'm rather than starting from volume one on the books, I might, I think it's like volume two or three, whatever. I'll, I'll work it out and then I'll carry on from there, you know. But I've still got two of those massive books still sealed on Christmas. So I'll, my plan is to be up to date one to six by Christmas because I want another one, uh, volume seven. Uh, I think I have one every year, you know, so I want to be back up to date with that, okay? But yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, okay, so what I've been reading, I have... This is the book that I'm still reading in work, but I went yesterday, um, quite a long train journey, but like, but I was meeting my mate Chris uh, a couple of stops later, and it was a train delay, so I'm really glad I had that in my bag. I took my work bag, so this was in the bag anyway. So I had sneaky 20, 30 pages read, you know, so I didn't mind that the train was delayed. Um, I don't like being on my phone all the time in public, but give me a book, I'm more than happy, you know, I mean, that's my comfort zone. Uh, and I'm literally, I've got that many pages left, like uh, that's 35, 50-odd pages left, and it's very... Up to this point, the point I'm at, it's very like, oh, I hope this happens, and it does happen. I'm not saying it's predictable, because I've got quite a vivid imagination. I'm like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if this happens? And it kind of, in a way, does happen. But then it's, uh, a curveball's been thrown in now. Now, what you expect to happen, and they've got about the right amount of pages, you expect the main guy, he's basically trying to assassinate someone. And it's the night he's been waiting for. He's pretending to be an artist, like uh, looking at the castle. Uh, sorry if this is spoiler. I definitely recommend this, okay? But he's pretending to be an artist. and But basically, he's there, he's painting, but he's taking in... Right, I'm going to swim across the moat, and I climb up the path there. I'm going to do this. So he's really, really planning out how he's going to kill, like assassinate this king. Then he gets kidnapped. It's like, fuck, What? And it's another plot twist I did not see come in. So, I'm I'm the guy I normally go and break with in work is off for a couple of days. So, uh, I might get I might finish that, but I might have to break my rule and read that like before I go to bed in the nights, you know, because this story is so damn good in that, you know. I put that there, so I don't want to leave it, forget it when I go to work. Right, I finished um, the King of Fighters. Uh, really good actually, but it kind of doesn't leave on a cliffhanger. I got a feeling there is actually a volume three on them, but um, I don't know. I'll have a look, but I got such a backlog when it comes to books. If I see it when I'm just scrolling through on eBay or something and it's a good price, I will pick it up. But I'm not going to like set up a search for it, like search party. I've got to read it. It was... Um, it goes downhill a little bit. Uh, like, Whip is my favourite character in these books so far. Vanessa isn't in it. King, I don't think she's in it at all. She's mentioned, I think, but she's not in it at all, you know. Um, but uh, Kai Zangi and all, all my mains are in, there, are, uh, are in there. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, so, I've got... There's two books coming out. Uh, mangas coming out this week. So... I don't want to start, like, the reason I'm not going to start the Berserk series yet is because that's going to take me a couple of months, probably, to, I don't want to rush through them. I, I, I take it in. I look at all, you know, you're not just reading the the, the, the text. You, I'm taking in the artwork and everything. Like, I, I will say, though, with these, going back to these, okay, 
Uh, see if I can find it, a good example. I don't know how it will look with the lighting, okay? Like, there's a good example, right? They mix in, okay, like traditional comic book art, yeah, with really high quality art as well. Like, and it's so random. Like, the top of the page is what I'd say traditional comic book style. And then it goes into like this polished looking finish. I just threw out the whole book and it's, I really like that. Um, yeah, so I don't want to start anything too big because the two books basically that are coming out is, I think it's the 27th, one's on the 27th, one's on the 29th. So volume three of Young Ladies Don't Play Fighting Games is coming out this week. I've been, so I pre-ordered that one, okay? Really looking forward to getting into that. Because I'm so hyped for it, I'm probably read that in two nights. I, I know I could do it in one night, but I want to take it in, you know. Uh, and the other one is volume nine of High School Girl as well. That's another one I just will blitz through, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to them. So I don't want to be, because I'm buying them anyway, I don't want to wait with them. I've waited so long with Berserk. Another week or two weeks isn't going to do it any much more harm, okay? So I want something that I can get through pretty easy. I might finish that this week. Or on standby, I've got Killer Instinct. I've heard quite bad things about this. And I've had a flick through. Now, my favourite two characters in the Killer Instinct games, okay, uh, is Fulgo and Spinal, okay? And I can't fucking see him in it. They must be in there. I think, I think Fulgo is in there at some point. You've got Jago in there. Um, I like the artwork, but some of the reviews on this, some people uh, really dis... They think, oh, it's such a good franchise. They've done it a disservice or something. I don't think there's anything wrong with the the art style, you know? Yeah, I'm uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to so that. That, you know, yeah, I'll blitz that. And like, if, say, Young Ladies Don't Play Fighting Games come, turns up Thursday, Friday, I'll just finish at it one night, then enjoy them. I don't want to, like, start the book go into another book and then I probably won't go back to it. So yeah, I'll probably read, start that tonight or I'll uh, get back into this bad. I might, ooh, I'm tempted to go this way, mind. Yeah, across the Nightingale floor. But then I need another book then, uh, which I, I'm not going to buy now. I got so many books in my backlog. Fucking shadow over there. Uh, yeah, I got so many uh, books in my backlog. So I'll have to just grab another book to take to work, you know. Anyway, that is pretty much it. It, I think that's what I've been playing, what I've been watching, and what I've been reading. Yeah, there we go. Uh, thank you very much to the five people that are going to watch this. I love each and every single one of you. Um, yeah, I think we'll cut it off there. I hope the lighting was okay. Please uh, be easy on me in the comments if this uh, looks terrible. Um, it's not really flattering like though, is it? <laughs> I don't care about that uh, shit like that anyway. Yeah, we'll uh, leave it there. Please do get that subscribe button, please. And love you. Bye.